To install your stud bar into wood studs, you're going to need a minimum of a 14 volt corded or cordless drill, a 3 16 inch drill bit, a minimum of 3 inches in length, a 17 millimeter socket to drive your bar bolt, a 13 millimeter socket to drive your lag bolt, a 3 8 inch adapter to turn your cordless drill into a socket driver. When driving your lag bolts, do not use the ratchet. You will over torque and break them. Use the electric drill. It will apply nice even torque and save you a lot of time as well. A stud finder, a pencil for marking your studs, and a tape measure. Using my stud finder, I've located two studs 48 inches apart, opposing studs in my ceiling. When you're doing this, make sure you find the center of the stud. A good stud finder will tell you where the center of the stud is. If you don't have a stud finder that tells you the exact center, just use your stud finder to make a couple different passes over the stud and you can figure out where the center is by when you hit the edges of the stud. Now that I've located my stud, I'm going to mark the exact center of the stud bar bracket on that stud. And then I'm going to measure backwards to the wall and the ceiling so I know that both stud bars are perfectly parallel with each other to avoid missing a stud. I'm also going to use the stud finder to measure out towards the outer mounting holes to make sure that I'm on the center of the stud on both ends of the stud bar. Using my stud bar bracket as a guide, I'm going to mark my first drill point for my pilot hole. I know I hit stud right there because the drill was stressing and there's also wood bits that came out on the drill bit. With my first pilot hole drilled, I'm ready to put my first lag bolt in. Keep everything loose for now, there's no reason to tighten anything down. Again, using the stud bar as a template, I'm going to go ahead and drill the remainder pilot holes using the bracket itself as a guide. And once I get the initial pilot hole drilled using the bracket, I just push it aside and continue drilling, allowing myself to get the three inch depth I need for the lag bolts to nice and smooth enter the stud. Once I get all my pilot holes at least three inches deep into the stud, I'm going to go ahead and continue on driving the lag bolts into the stud bar bracket. Start from one end and work your way down to the other. Again, keep everything loose until you're done. There's no reason to tighten everything down yet. With one bracket loosely installed, take a measurement from the nearest corner of the ceiling in the wall to the edge of the bracket. Now taking the prior measurement from the other stud bar bracket, I've located my opposing stud 48 inches apart, and I'm going to mark the ceiling to coincide with the edge of the bracket behind me to ensure that both stud bar brackets are perfectly parallel and lined up on the studs. The second bracket is now up and loose. I just repeated the same process I did with the first bracket. With both brackets installed and loose, it allows me to slide in the crossbar. Go ahead and thread in your first crossbar bolt, the 17 millimeter. At this point, with the bracket still loose, snug down your crossbar 17 millimeter bolts all the way. With the crossbar tight, now it's time to snug up those lag bolts. Once you see the washer go flat against the bracket, you know you're good. There's no reason to over tighten these. That's it, pretty simple. Now it's just time to do some reps.